You can go right out here. Just let me know when you're rolling. Hey, are those Titan fitness poles in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? All right, action. The end of an era. Titan Fitness sleds. So I'll admit, I've had these for a few years and they did their job, served their purpose. They worked fine, but as some of you may know from an old video I made, the shipping and receiving of these was a nightmare. It came in multiple pieces, they forgot pieces. Said, hey, I didn't get my poles for my sleds. I must have subscribed to the Titan Fitness whole newsletter or something because they would just send me poles. Excited enough to make a video about some sleds. They'll be here later today. Think I can pull that truck? Hello. Got a little something for you. Let's hope this thing comes with all those poles. Uh, conditioning stuff that you won't use. Okay. So the chest supported row here at Untamed that I got from Watson, it was in a bunch of different pieces and uh, I didn't know any different so I went like this and sliced down and cut the upholstery of the pad. So I learned my lesson. I am most excited to show Katie that we have these sleds. Because I still will never forget the look she gave me when she couldn't budge that Titan sled and her feet were slipping all over the place. She said, Alan, you motherfucker. It's pretty good resistance. So the way this thing works is there's two levers, one for each side. So this would be neutral first, second, third. Getting harder as the lever goes up. But this thing's similar to an assault bike in that the harder you work, the harder you push, the faster you go, the harder it is to push. It's kind of like an input, output. What you put in is what you get out. Meaning, this is at full resistance right now, number three, and I can barely push it, and it'll barely go. Or, I can push it a lot, and it'll be a lot harder. has variable resistance, meaning you can go really hard one way, really easy the other way, which is perfect for uh, multiple people working at the same time on the same tank, or if you were doing two different exercises, one exercise down, the other exercise back. Setting one. Setting three. Everything I got. No cap, John. This is a good push. The 
only very minor issue I see is if you're pushing really hard and you're pushing up on the handles, you can get the back wheels to come off the ground. When you're doing this here, I think that could be easily fixed by purchasing their loading pins, putting a plate on it. I'm probably just gonna take one of the small 60 pound sandbags and set it on if any of the big guys are pushing this and the wheels are lifting up off the ground. All right, Alan, we're not impressed with your weak body. Let's get a big boy on this thing, see how it handles. 6'5", 360. Okay, let's see it. We've got never before seen, we got two tanks lined up. Josh, give it everything you got. Everything you got! Smoking it. <laughs> nice. So that's it. These are the M4 tanks from Torque Fitness. They are very expensive, uncomfortably expensive. Uh, but because I'm a gym owner, I feel like this is a good business expense. It's going to be used by a whole lot of people. It's going to last a long time. So it's worth it. Home gym owners, nah, if you got the money, go for it. But uh, if I was you, I'd probably stick with just a standard sled. They're expensive, but I've got two of them because I just have so much money, I just don't know what to do with it. <laughs> uh, I think that concludes the video. Thanks for watching, and always remember, tread on time!